today we're putting up a shade cloth. All right guys, so what I've been doing for shade cloth is I take one of these stakes and I just drive it in at the corners. Now, the dirt that's in our bed is really easy to kind of yeah, go through. And, but this, uh, once it hits below that, the dirt that we've got here is like rock hard stuff, all this. And there's a lot of rocks. Yep, it's a hole. So it takes a lot of, a lot of work to get it down. And um, I, there was no hole there and I made that. Okay, so there um, takes a lot of work to get it down. This one's actually going a lot easier a lot quicker than it usually does. So I must not have hit a rock, but we do have lots of rocks. So we'll see how far we can get this. Here you know, on. the deeper, the better. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute, guys. We see that one? All right, so let's get to this corner. And so now we know, we already set up the drip irrigation, so we're gonna pull these stakes that I used to mark where I was gonna put the drip irrigation. This one? Yep, all of them. And we'll use those for the corners as well. So, huh, this little hammer thing is getting destroyed, but it was cheap. Kinda need something cheap. more metal. $15. It was not $15. And it kind of pulls these things up, but, you know, cheap stakes. There's probably better options, but this is what I got. Like metal stakes. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, that's in. Know. Hey, grab me another. Go grab me a steak. Okay. Thanks. All right, so this is right in the center. Get that out. About as deep as that one will go. I wish they could go a little deeper, but I'm not getting it anymore. Can I have one of those? There we go. Oh, that's good enough. Can I have that one, please? Okay. Ah. All right. Now, we just grab these. Three of these. Can you grab that one, Eli? The straight one? All right. So, we just simply put it in. Don't push it too hard. Hold it down. Hold it down. Hold it down. Make sure it doesn't move. And then we... Put that through. It's good. It's good now. Yeah. All right. So simply put it in like that. Can we that one? Yeah. Let's go on this side. So you can put it in. So we just put it again right through. Don't push it too hard. Yeah. And then through this one. Uh, yeah. And Whoa. through. All right. So now we've got to have a zip tie. I'm gonna put the rest in my pocket for now. Can you bring that up over? Or just hand it to me? Thank you. And then let's get it straight. It's a little too much. And then we just zip tie this right on top, like so. And that really should hold pretty well. Um, they will kind of swing off to the side a little bit sometimes, but same thing. We're just putting the zip tie on, tightening as tight as we can. All right, so now we've got basically a little makeshift hoop house, pretty simple. And now we're just gonna put the shade cloth up over. Up over. Ooh, the wind is giving us a boost. Yeah. All right, over, bud, over, over, more. So then I just zip tie. One of the grommets. And by the way, this was pretty inexpensive. I think I got this um, 
shade cloth for like 20 bucks. Um, and it's uh, a little bit longer. So it's 10 by 12. All right, that's probably good enough. However, I wanna keep this from blowing and knocking over the small little seedlings because this can blow in and then land on them. So I'm just gonna put a stake down and then tie this down. Like I said, this dirt, lots of rocks. You gotta find the right spot that doesn't have rocks. See, right there, big rock. They're all over. Oh. There we go. Hello. And then let's tie them off. All right. Then we're just gonna Tie this off, there we go. Do the same thing over here. And the last one, guys. Excuse the train in the background. I'm sure you can hear it. I live right next to a train. Oh. Oh. Man, this soil that I got is just... Nope, another rock. And it won't go through. It's just... Bad. It's really difficult to work with this this soil. Come on. Uh. All right, maybe back here. Nope. There we go. All right, oh, and there we go. Then I've got the ends here. And these kind of go every which way. It's a little bit long. Um, those probably should be, you know, I've, I've done it before like this, where I tie it out to a stake, but I'm kind of out of stakes. You know, and that way it's not banging up against the the veggies. But if I tie this up here and that in, maybe down there, that might work. I think so. Let's do that. All right, there we go, this will work. And there we go. The whole thing's all set up and done. It blows around a little more, I think, than that one. That one's a little tighter. But I kind of like this, the way that I did it there. That's that. It's going to protect these from getting too, too uh, sunny. Um, it is still hot. We're, today is 99 degrees. Tomorrow's going to be 100. And we're close to the end of September here, which should be a lot lower temperature. Carrots and most root veggies cannot handle these temps. And so this is going to help kind of protect it, just like I have on my tomatoes. I give a little bit more at the bottom on the tomatoes. 
because they need a little more sunlight but um, I've got this fully covered over here uh, these are my cruciferous all the broccoli and everything these are cruciferous as well so they just don't like the really high heats um, so anyway this is gonna help it's gonna keep it cool and hopefully that that all stays put and is nice and um, rigid in there won't blow too much around but should be stable so there we go I set up uh, the shade cloth with kind of a hoop house kind of thing going on uh, pretty temporary it's easy to kind of remove this you just cut 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 and we're and remove this and these just pull right out of the ground so um, really simple really easy so if you like this idea please let me know let me know if I did anything wrong or any ideas you might have I would love to hear in the comment section I'm sure there's better ways of doing this so love, love to hear your ideas anyway I will see you guys on the next video now you try to escape the daily grind <laughs>